have you thought to yourself, this is my last life. I never want to come back here again. Oh my God. No, no, no. This is too, too traumatic. Never want to do this again. Then it's not your last life. When we die, we go through what is called a life review process. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about the life review process, but it walks you through everything. Um, and it is exactly that. It is a life review. It shows you things that you could have done differently, um, things that you didn't get to do that you wanted to do. Um, in numerology, our destiny is always fulfilled. So don't ever think that you passed away without completing everything that you really wanted to complete. The crucial things that you need to complete will always be completed, whether you believe it or not, whether you feel that you haven't accomplished anything or not, you have. Just being and existing is an accomplishment. Um, but there are things that we want to do. Like, just think about like when you go on a vacation and you're like, I want to go zip lining. I want to do this. I, I want to do that. That's kind of the same feeling you get during the life review. They, they walk you through everything and you're like, oh my God, oh, I, sh I, oh, I wish I would've did that. Oh, well, I didn't get to do that. Or, oh, I forgot about that. Um, Cause sometimes we, we get off track of the things that we wanna accomplish when we come to earth. So once you're done with the life review, you get the opportunity to go back. Some people, as it's fresh in their mind, immediately wanna come back. They're like, okay, I wanna go back. Uh, I didn't get to do this so, 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 I wanna, I wanna go back and do it. Some people take time to uh, reintegrate. But mainly, mostly, most people decide they want to come back um, because they didn't get to complete something that, you know, whether it was a, a talent that they didn't get to cultivate or they wanted to learn, you know, guitar or they wanted to, you know, write a book or, or things like that that they wanted to do, they didn't get a chance to do, they, they come right back. So, and of course, we come back and we go through what is called the memory erasing, right? And a lot of people get angry about this because they want to remember. They want, you know, why do I have, why can't I remember my past lives? Why can't I remember why I'm here? If you meditate, if you have a discipline in meditation, you can remember. We're all connected to source. Uh, it's about honing that. But the reason we don't remember is because it's a gift. It is a gift to forget your past lives because we go through a lot of trauma so let's say in your past life, you were, it was a very traumatic experience. You went to, through things that you could not get over, where, whether it was the passing of a loved one or whether you, you know, unalived somebody or, you know, whatever. These are traumatic things. And when we go through re-entry into the magnetic field of earth, it is erased. Think of it like a credit card. If you put it next to a strong magnet, it just erases. All the information on it is erased. So... We come down and we forget. And, you know, a lot of us, when we're children, we still have that real strong attachment to source and core of all things. So a lot of kids have reincarnation memories of their past life. Um, there's a lot of things that can tell you about your past life. If you are, you know, let's take transgender um, people, for example. If they have a real um, feeling of, of you know, let's say a man who says they're a woman, it's because they were strongly a woman in their past life. Um, and a lot of times when it's a traumatic ending in a past life, um, they, they are reborn quickly um, because they feel, they had the feeling that the life was cut short. They want to come back real fast. So they're reincarnated much quicker. Um, and what's interesting is, this is all information that's come through me th to me through meditation. <laughs> Uh, I've been meditating since I was 16. I'm 46 now. Now, I discovered Dolores Cannon and a lot of other, Edgar Case, who's one of my favorite um, sleeping prophet, he was called. And all of it was confirmed to me via their work because how could three people who don't know each other or have no connection together come up with the same uh, ideas? Uh, theories, etc. So you're hoping that this is your last life. <laughs> it probably isn't your last life. Uh, you'll probably be coming back. So when you realize that, make the most of that you can out of this life. Um, create, write, paint, um, travel. Um, even if you can't travel, like because you don't have the finances to do so, you know, find things around you that you can discover new things to discover. Um, yeah, so I hope that helps people that are struggling with this life and wanting to um, want it to be their last life.
this life is a gift and I think a lot of us forget that sometimes and um, it takes a profound experience to help us remember so I highly recommend um, Mother Earth Medicine for those of you that understand Mother Earth Medicine and I highly recommend meditation um, yeah, any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'm Marisela Mendoza.